You know my situation Could fuck with me and stack all these blue faces On the real, these other bitches is basic To keep it really where I'm trying to get you naked I know I got a bad reputation They just wanna see you lose when you make it Everybody on my line, they can save it Yo, what you do, it's your boy MTZ King And I'm back on your screen I hope everybody has a great, amazing, blessed Sunday um, I'm just right here laying down. Uh, I feel so tired. And my ceiling fan is so damn annoying with that damn noise it's making. That's literally that. The noise y'all hear in the background is actually my damn ceiling fan, and it's annoying. Um, I decided just to start the vlog off right here uh, laying in bed because that's what I'm doing it's 7 30 something in the morning I just finished taking my pills right now like at 6 something just took one uh, one inhaler so right now I got two more inhaler uh, other than that that's all I'm doing um And yeah, probably about to just get up and get ready for the day. Oh, this is, don't know what I'm going to do today. Probably just be here home, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Anyways, though, I hope y'all enjoyed our day. And have a good day or a good night. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to catch you on a little bit. Um, thanks for all the love and support. It means a lot to me. Oh, hold on. Wait, before I go. I'm not going for good. But before I go and then forget. Happy birthday to the one and only the GOAT, Kobe Bryant. Um, today is his birthday. Uh... So, happy birthday to him, and much love to his wife and his and his three daughters, and of course his angel, his his other daughter he took with him, Gigi. Uh, but may God be with his his wife and his three daughters he left behind. Um, it's, it just touched my heart when I seen, um, like they were sending his wife's, um, they were sending his wife, um, like gifts and stuff, and I thought that was just so sweet, um, because it's obviously the first year that they will spend his birthday with him, because, you know, in January of this year is when him and his him and his daughter and you know others were you know in that helicopter that crashed so yeah with that being said though now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna catch you on a bit though chill yo what's up what to do squad I'm just right here chilling go eat some y'all see that it's some watermelon and cucumbers with chamoy and tahin. Mmm. I'm looking at my little brother. Look at me. And again, I'm ripping the, tur the shirt. Man, if they had every color in, in the merch, I would get one of every color. Just so I could have one more every day. Because, man, it's just so damn comfortable. I want to say shout out to my little brother. Um, He ended up putting one of my songs that... I was, I believe, like 16, 16, 
14, 14 to 16 years old when I dropped that song. And it's called If the Day Was to Come. Actually, it's, it's the day was to come that I had to say goodbye, but I, sh I think I shortened it. Or unless I did put it like that. I don't know. It's on my YouTube channel anyways. I did upload it on my YouTube channel. Um, and like I said, though, I have had been having that song for a long time. I had just hold on to it. And then when I made my YouTube channel, I ended up then, uh, dropping it on my YouTube channel. But I was literally young when I dropped that song, when I made that song. Um... Shout out to my brother JJ. He's the one who did um, all the all the behind stuff on that song. Mm. We were just kids, you know. We grew up. It was me, my brother, um, my cousin, and my bro Q. And we were always just working on music, doing music, man. I have a lot of music of ours. But actually, in, if you're too young, well, you probably don't know. Unless you, you know, your parents told you. But in our days, there were CD players and um, MP3 players. Well, my stuff is actually in an MP, in MP3 player. And, um, yeah, I'm just like, damn, you know. We used to do that when we were young, you know what I'm saying? I still do it. They don't do it right now because, you know, they're always, they're, like, really busy, like, work, between working and stuff. Um, I was always so into that, man. Like, we would stay up nights. When we were younger and, you know, they didn't have no jobs or anything, you know, we would stay up nights and stuff doing that. And it's just something that's been with me forever because, like I said, started doing music when I was really young and I it it makes me feel good when people say like say my music reminds them like of like of Tupac because Tupac was like po poetic that's how I am it's like whatever's in my music it has to rhyme if not, I don't feel satisfied with it. So, when I have people tell me that a lot, that's like, man, that made me feel good, you know? And, like I said, I do it because I enjoy it. It's, it's like a hobby to me. Um, I'm 31 years old and I'm still doing it, so it means something to me, you know? Well... My little brother, anyways, like I said, I'm saying, he ain't been able to, I don't know, he got an iPad. I don't, I don't know how iPads, iPhones work, I don't own one. I only have Samsung. I always had, I started off with LG, and then I hopped off to Samsung, and ever since then, I've been on Samsung, you know. So, uh, he ended up getting, being able to, uh, like, uh, recorded through his tablet and I don't know what so he ended up doing a TikTok thing for me so then last night like around I think it was 3 in the morning I went ahead and I used my own audio on there so if you want to hear a short sneak peek of it go to my TikTok if you want to hear the full verse song go to my YouTube and it's crazy because some of my supporters actually have already heard it and they, when I posted it on TikTok they ended up saying they got it you know so it's like, you know, if you have me on, on YouTube, you already probably seen it. If you went through all my stuff. If not, then you haven't seen it. But if you want to hear the full song, go check it out on my YouTube. But like I said, all them pictures were when I was I was younger. I probably looked the same, but I was younger. Because, like I said, now I'm 31. Um, but I appreciate all the support that y'all give me, honestly. It always makes my day. And... Yeah, so right now I'm just chilling right here eating some watermelon and some cucumbers. Because I did have breakfast earlier. I ate, uh, my dad made me eggs. Uh, so, shout out to my pops. I have my eggs and then I ended up eating some spaghetti. Um, and, yeah, so now I'm right here eating this because I just feel really hungry. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to catch you in a bit. Um, but I hope y'all enjoying your Sunday. Uh, and yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to catch on up.
Chill. Yo, what's up with the Goose Squad? I'm just right here, just chilling. It's already um seven something o'clock at night. Um, uh, man, guys, I've been working out. Like, by working out, I mean like doing push-ups, doing sit-ups. Um, I literally had this thing. It's like the pants and the and the and the shirt, whatever, it's long sleeve. Yeah. It's one of the things that you wear when you want to like lose weight and say you go for a, yeah, go for a run or whatever and it, make, it helps you sweat off or whatever. Yesterday was the first day I put it on. Man, I promise y'all, I just had it on for five minutes. Man, with that five minutes, I was sweating. I was like, damn it, that's it. All I did yesterday was just push-ups and sit-ups and like, I'm not working myself out to the extreme because I can't do that. Back in back then, before my seizures and all this stuff started, I would do at least a um, hundred, a hundred um, sit-ups, and I would do uh, about like twenty-five to thirty push-ups. But you know, I can't over overwork myself because you know, shit. I tried doing that the other day, and she boy almost caught a seizure. So. Um, once I feel that my body is like overheating, that's when I know it's not going good. So, um, yeah, but I put that suit on yesterday, the pants and the and the shirt is a long sleeve. Let me tell you, I did sweat on that only that I had to do twenty and twenty, and when I was just in it, I was in it, and I was like, man, I was like, shoot, um, and. Like I said, all I'm trying to lose is just my damn stomach, cause that's all I have is my stomach. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like you know, I guess too. I have a stomach now because like I was doing quarantine for two weeks, so that within them two weeks, I wasn't like I wasn't active as much. Well, I mean active, like you know, of course I had a quarantine, so I couldn't go outside and go for a walk like I usually would do, 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 you know what I'm saying um and I had just got restrictions on the 23rd which today makes um a month so I had got restrictions on you know uh, what I could do what could I not do uh, due to the epilepsy which is the seizures and stuff um so <sighs> it's been a whole it's been a whole month now guys and since then so much of my life has changed like i said i could not i have to leave the damn bathroom door open when i go use the restroom when i go take a shower uh whatever i'm doing i have to be with somebody or i have to leave the doors open so they could keep an eye on me like i said it's basically i'm being babysat babysat you know what i'm saying um is it does it bother me yes it does because i'm not a person to depend on anybody i always i'm i'm a dependent person i depend on myself when it comes down to everything when it comes down to going places when it comes down to making my money like i do not like asking anybody for anything even on my toughest times if i know i need it i do not like asking you know i'm just not the type of person that likes to ask you know what i'm saying i'd rather work for my stuff versus me asking because you know when you ask somebody whether you like and usually i'm good if i tell somebody can i borrow it it's because i'm gonna pay it back if i not can't pay it back then i'm gonna be like just can I, i'm gonna be like can i have it because you see there's two different terms of that a lot of people figure when you give them when they ask you to borrow oh it's okay you don't gotta pay it back man i have a thousand people that owe me money right now and to this day they have they act stupid like they don't owe me jack but i'm not gonna be that person to be sitting there and saying oh you owe me this much you owe me that much like heck no you should know how much you owe me and you know who you are most of y'all even watch my damn videos so like y'all know who the heck you are but am i gonna be sitting there asking you for it nope i'm not because you had the the boobs or the or the balls to ask me for it so it should be your job to be like you know what here's your money so you know there's a big old difference when people say can i borrow it that's because you're gonna pay it back if you can't pay it back don't ask to borrow it ask can you have it straight up why am i gonna go and ask somebody oh yeah 
can I borrow it? Knowing that I don't even have a job to be able to pay back, you know what I'm saying? And let's just, can I borrow it? And whenever I do get the money, I'll pay it back to you, whether it's in a month, two, a year from now, two years from now. But I'll definitely pay it back to you as long as I get the money, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, it's like, don't be one of them people that ask people to let them borrow it. That you have somebody let you borrow it, but then you don't pay it back. Because then when you really need it, imagine ain't nobody going to want to let you borrow it because they're going to be like, hell no, you didn't pay so-and-so back or, you know, I know you don't pay. Like, trust me, I learned the people that would ask me for it. Even not too long ago, probably a couple of months ago, I had two people ask me to borrow it. I said, I ain't got it. At the time, I did have it, but I said I didn't have it. Why? Because to this day, they still owe me money. I'm not about to be... Um, throwing my money at you and because you asked me to borrow it but then you don't pay it back heck no that's what happens when you ask people for it and then they they tell you they ain't got it learn your damn lessons anyway um other than that though i'm just right here just chilling and i was just watching uh, some some stuff on and oh, i've been between netflix and uh youtube and right now, I was like, man, you know what, let me just start vlogging, because it's 7.46. Usually, I close out my videos about 8-something or 9, and I start, you know, putting it all together by 9.30, just have it up at least by 10. So, I do basically vlog throughout the day. Um, so, I know a lot of YouTubers start the, the YouTube videos really early in the morning. Um, and to try to finish them by a certain time, so by... A certain time they'll have it up you know what i'm saying so it's like a lot of a lot of people just you know it just depends i guess on what they have planned for the day or whatever you know when y'all see these big old um influencers that you know do these um big old you know like where there's a challenge or whatever that takes that takes money and it takes time to set everything up so that's why a lot of these YouTubers that have like, that are like big influencers, they don't really post every day because they brainstorm, they brainstorm, they write their stuff down and be like, okay, this is going to go down this day, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's better to be a vlogger because a vlogger, you ain't got to worry about that. You just pick up your camera or your phone, wherever you're vlogging from, and you just start off your vlog like this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh... So yeah, uh, as soon as I do start getting money or whatever, I I was already planning to get a ring light, but when I was gonna buy it, they did not have it in stock. So I was like, damn. Uh, I was pretty disappointed because that one would be dope. Like since I used to use my phone, um, it would be dope for previous things, whether it's me uh, vlogging, whether it's me um, doing TikToks. Uh, me making uh, dance uh, dance videos, me recording myself singing, whatever. It will work for all that, guys. So, you know, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have, didn't have it when I did have the money. But I, like I said, you know, whenever I do start getting money again, I am investing on one of those. And I'm investing on the tripod because my tripod broke. And right now I have, like, this small tripod. But with the weight of the phone, it literally just like goes down so I, it is standing on it right now but that's because it's actually uh, on a pillow um but like say if i put it on the on the surface like on my little table that's next to my bed that's wooden it literally just like you know what i'm saying it opens up because it's wood um, but yeah but other than that though that's all i've been doing right now guys just chilling you know what i'm saying Sunday, that's all I really do. Usually we go to stores like my friends, they go to the store today, but my little brother didn't want to go, so I was like, I guess I will just stay home. So they made him take care of me, and I was taking care of him, but they had to tell him to take care of me just in case I have a seizure. He, he already knows what he has to do. Um, so, yeah, it's like we're taking care of each other because I take care of him, make sure, you know, he's good. Then he has to take care of me, make sure and I just don't have to get no damn seizure. You know, usually when I get a seizure, my head starts hurting really bad. I caught one. It was at, I want to say, 3, 4 in the morning, and I was in the damn restroom. Uh, 
and I just ended up <laughs> on the sink because I was literally washing my hands. Uh, but yeah, though. Mm. <laughs> I was tripping out because, man, I I think people are, are believing that I am dating um one of the Montoya twins. And look, let me tell you, if it was up to me, I'd be like, I'm all for it. But at the end of the day, guys, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, whoa, you know, it's kind of like, a, I'm cool with the pops. Because, you know, the pops did reach out to me uh, when, when this when I had to find out that I had the COVID and all this stuff, and you know, uh, we had messaged already a few times here and there, and you know, I always tell him, you know, how amazing of a father he is, and that he has gorgeous daughters, and you know, because he got three daughters, not just the twins, there's the older sisters, and there's the twins, and then there's his grandbaby, and then his grandson, and now his daughter is pregnant with another grandbaby. They don't know the gender yet, that's why I said that. And then, you know what I'm saying? I just told him, like, you know, it's. It's just pretty awesome how him and his wife are so supportive and they're always there. Like, they're like the hype. They they always hyping their, their twins up. And I think that is just something that, for their age, a lot of parents don't do that no more. And that's it. The twins are already adults. But for their parents to hype them up and for the, the twins to respect the parents the way they do, that just shows you. Their parents did a damn good job by raising them. And I will never cross the line. And, you know, be disrespectful. Because at the end of the day, I have respect for him as a man. Him being the father of them. And, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, I must say, there's a lot of idiots that be so disrespectful on their discord. That be trying to talk dirty but then the robot eventually takes the, their comment off and it's like dude like do these girls literally look like they're somebody just to throw themselves at dudes they're not y'all y'all getting them twisted y'all getting them confused but i don't know who because these twins have so much respect for themselves as women and there's a lot of women that don't respect themselves but I think when a woman can respect herself and not give a damn what anybody says, and if she's saying she is a virgin, I believe her when she says she is. Because it takes a real woman to empower that and be proud of that. You know what I'm saying? How many women do you know in the world that are still virgins and, you know, can proudly say it without hiding it? There ain't that many that are proud of it. They like, you know, they try to fit in with the crowd and be like, oh no, I'm not. These, these women are so different from, from a lot that I know. So I'm like, okay, y'all, like, chill, chill. You know what I'm saying? You're hyping it up. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. Like, just because I do a lot of, um, duets with them, doesn't mean anything, guys. Like, I try to support anybody who I can support. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, y'all be thinking that also I'm going out with uh, Justice's sister and Reese's sister, Jersey. Jersey's 16 years old, guys. Now, <laughs> come on now, man. Like, chill, chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all be trying to whatever. And it's like, man, calm down. Like, damn. Like, y'all take everything so serious. So I put TikTok wife, y'all like, oh, damn. Like, nah, it ain't nothing like that, though, real talk. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I uh, I respect the twins, and, you know, their family is an amazing family. Like I say, you know, OG Padre, uh, uh, ma Mama, <laughs> and, you know, their sister, even their brother-in-law, Jose. Like, I, I could respect them all, guys, because they are... They're amazing people. They're, they're, it's, a, it's a beautiful family, man. When I say that, when I say that, that's just what it is. The best word I could describe it in is a beautiful family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, and then y'all like, oh, which one? Which one you like better? You, you must like Maya better because you just post more with Maya versus with Micah. 
guys, they're both twins. It's like, I see it this way. When you're dating one twin, it's basically you're like you're dating both because usually twins stick together. It doesn't mean you're gonna do any sexual with the other sister or be kissing on her or whatever. Cause of course, no, you don't do that. But like, I mean, versus like hanging out and like doing stuff together in that form, shape, form, hanging out together and stuff. So it's like it's not that I like one more than the other uh, and whatnot, but. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, for those of you that know, Maya actually posts more than Micah. And you just got known, though, you know what I'm saying? It's like me. I have twin nieces. And, you know, one couldn't post more than the other one does. Like, one could post more on Instagram, the other one posts post more on TikTok. One posts post more, more on TikTok, the other one posts more on Instagram. It's just vice versa, right? But, you know, twins, like I say, they unite together. It's like they're one. And it's like they're best friends. Like every twins that I know, I have always heard that. Even I heard it from the Montoya twins. They're best friends. And you can't take a best friend away from their best friend. You know what I mean? It's like me. If I was a twin, I'm sure me and my twin would be like this shit. I have a baby brother who's nine years old and we're like best friends. Like, at the end of the day, it's like that's my brother. You know what I mean? Uh. But yeah, I just thought I would drop that out, clear the air, and y'all chill. Y'all be hyping me up, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all be, y'all be in my things, call me Tay and Maya. <laughs> oh, what's it call it? Like, you know, she do be liking my, my stuff. Um, doesn't mean that she has to comment on it, but she do be liking my stuff. They both do, even their pops do, so. You know, I'm grateful and thankful for that. Uh, but yeah. But anyways, I gotta run to the restroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see y'all right back in the video. Shit. What's up, squad? I'm back once again. I just wanna say I hope everybody had a great, amazing day. It's because your boy's about to hop in the shower already. Uh, thanks for all the love and support that y'all always give me. It means a lot to me on all social media. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it all. From TikTok to Twitter to Snapchat to IG to wherever I have you on. I, some of my Facebook is more private um, versus any of my other social media. And like my Snapchat as well is something private as well. Uh, but I think I'd have probably maybe like a few of y'all on there. Um, but if I have y'all on there, that's because y'all actually reached out to me and y'all actually literally like looked up to me and stuff. Um, but otherwise, I really don't um, just add anybody. So, yeah. Um, but with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the team, join the squad. And if you didn't have a good day, I hope you have a better day tomorrow. And wherever you're at watching this, I hope you're having a great night or a great morning or afternoon, whatever time it may be when I drop this vlog in a bit on your time. So, my time is already nighttime. So, yeah, much love. With that being said, I'm out. Chill. Days I go turn you on. Hope you feel the vibe when you hear this song. You a boss, I'm a boss too. Little baby, when I pull it, would you go?